Hello and welcome to the Rocky Mountains. Oatmeal and I have not brushed our teeth yet today and today we're going to review a rechargeable headlamp. Right Oatmeal? Yeah. Oatmeal and I would like to challenge you to solve the Rubik's Cube while driving on the freeway every time that I say Oatmeal. Right Oatmeal? Yeah. Looks pretty cool, Oatmeal. Oatmeal, I have no idea who makes this. There's some kind of piece of paper in here. There's a couple pictures on it, but that doesn't tell me much. And then there's some kind of writing here in there, Oatmeal. Oatmeal, do you want to try it on? Let me go ahead and just put that where it belongs. Good girl, Oatmeal. Okay, Oatmeal, do you want to uh, take a closer look at it? Maybe model it for the camera? Come here. Stop. Oh, no. Easy. Easy. Come on, oatmeal. Oh, no. Easy. Easy. Sit. Oh, oatmeal. Oatmeal. No? Yeah, I don't think oatmeal wants to wear it. No? Okay. And of course it comes with a little power cord to recharge it. Don't chew on the headband, oatmeal. Let's go ahead and peel that sticker off, oatmeal. There we go. Oatmeal and I are not quite ready to weigh in on this, are we, Oatmeal? No rating just quite yet. We're going to use it for a little bit longer because something tells me it may fail. It feels kind of cheap. It's like plastic and, you know, I guess it being lightweight is a good thing. But I remember my first headlamp. That thing was quality. It was made out of metal. It was made out of lead. And it was propane powered. Right, Oatmeal? Yeah. Okay, so like most headlamps, you can angle this thing up and down when it's on your head to change the angle of your lighting. Right, Oatmeal? Yeah. You know, Oatmeal, you'll never win an argument with a 90 degree angle, because it'll always be right, Oatmeal. That 90 degree angle, it'll always be right. Yeah. This thing is working awesome so far. The fact that it's rechargeable is amazing. One feature that I'd like to see on a headlamp that I've never seen before. You know what that is, Oatmeal? It'd be cool if the on-off button had a little cover over it. So when you put it in your bag, it doesn't accidentally turn on and drain the energy out of it. Right, Oatmeal? You could hike all day with your headlamp on in your bag. That's why it's cool to have two of these things, Oatmeal. One of them could die in your bag and the other one might not. Oatmeal and I aren't going to tell you where to get these headlamps from, but we're pretty sure you can figure that out on your own. Right, Oatmeal? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and plug the power cord into the headlamp. And then I'm going to turn the inverter on. And as you can see, it's charging. It's already got about three quarters or three out of four lights charged up in the box. So it's ready to rock when you get it. We're gonna go ahead and charge it all the way up. As the sun goes down, I can still see at night. Oatmeal, look at that sunset. That's a nice sunset if you ask me, Oatmeal. Yeah. We got the headlamp all charged up. Right, Oatmeal? Yeah. Okay, so now that it is dark, this headlamp has two buttons on it. The one on my left has two different light settings. That one and that one. And then you push it again and it turns it off. The button on the right has more settings than that. First there's this one, then this one, then this one, 
then this one, then this one, and lastly, this one. Right, Oatmeal? Yeah. Hey, Oatmeal, if left and right got in an argument, and right, left, does that mean left is right? I know it's deep, right? I don't know either. So I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but one thing about this light is that when I look directly at Oatmeal, I can see your eyes reflecting back at me. Oatmeal, I finally took some time for some self-reflection. Guess what, Oatmeal? As it turns out, Oatmeal, as it turns out, I'm not a vampire. Oatmeal, I'm not a vampire. And I'm moving the camera up as close to the headlamp as I can to see if you guys can see that or not. Hey, Oatmeal, why don't you come back this way? Look how bright your eyes are. With my flashlight, you can't really see your eyes. I'm assuming because that is of the angle of the light. Oatmeal, do you know why the 90 degree angle fell in love with the 60 degree angle? Because it was a cute angle, Oatmeal. It was a cute angle. No? Okay. So this is the light setting that I like to hike on the best with this headlamp. And that would be the setting that has two lights illuminated instead of the bright one in the middle. It's kind of more of a saturating light and less of a beam. It's not so concentrated. Right, Oatmeal? Yeah. Rechargeable flashlights and headlamps are the way to go, right, Oatmeal? Oh, you don't know. Oatmeal, you've never paid for a battery in your life. About time we get to this technology where batteries are obsolete, Oatmeal. Yeah. Oatmeal, you don't even know what a double A is. Do you? Oatmeal, do you know what happens to a battery when they commit a crime? It gets charged, Oatmeal. Oatmeal, the battery gets charged. Good girl, Oatmeal. Oatmeal and I have also used these headlamps here at El Casino Coyote at nighttime, just doing our stuff, making sure we don't trip over stuff and break our legs and stuff. Am I right in stuff, Oatmeal? Yeah. So the question being, are these headlamps worth the money? Oatmeal and I have used them enough now. We've camped with them enough now. We are now ready to weigh in on that, aren't we, Oatmeal? Yeah. Oatmeal and I feel that these headlamps are well worth the money. Matter of fact, we give them a dead center, five-star, crystal clear rating. Correct, Oatmeal? Yeah. Oatmeal and I would like to thank you guys for joining us in this product review. If you would like more content like this, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, kabing, hit the like button, stimulate the algorithms, leave a comment, share the video, and whatever you do, have fun doing it. Oatmeal and I will see you next time. Right, Oatmeal? Yeah.